and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be on this like heart monitor, um, neon, I don't know, <laughs> Valentine's Day look. I hope that you enjoy and if you want to see how I did this then just keep on watching. As you can see, I don't have a Um, so... I have to laugh. Um, I know I never do, like, I never show you my normal makeup process, if that makes sense. Like, I just do the crazy stuff. I just think, like, I don't know, I feel like you'll find it boring. Just because, you know, the stuff I do is just so... So I use the Real Techniques brush just to blend my cheeks out. I do have acne scar in, so the way I do my foundation is I go in with a brush on my cheeks because it's more full coverage, and then I'll go in with my beauty sponge on the rest of my face, like my T zone, because I don't really need coverage there. I think my skin's pretty okay there. I'm gonna do this really quickly. Going in with my sponge, I'm just gonna blend that out with the pointy end. We still got a few more days to slay. It's gonna get so much louder. Now we're here to take control. I just want to apologize in advance if I keep looking up here when you're over there. But my viewfinder is like above the camera, and I'm obviously like new talking to a camera. So I keep just looking at myself and I just I don't know, I always watch the footage back and I'm just like And I also speak really quietly sometimes as well So, sorry about that Next, I'm gonna go in with my Coco Contour Kit just to make me look less pale because I'm very pale. I'm gonna go in with this orangey shade just to bronze my face and then this one to chisel. I wonder what went wrong today. Why do I feel like I linger? The blush I use is Milani Luminosa. I'm using a hydrating mist just so my highlight goes on there because I find if I put my highlight on on top of powders it just looks like chunky and gross so I do this. I'm gonna use a fun highlighter. This is one from MUA and dress your skin in Pillars and Sheen. It's like a duochrome highlighter. I'm going to be using the Huda, Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. I'm going to use this shade, this pinky one here, and this is going to be like a transition, kind of, but I mean, it's neon pink, so... But we are going to go in with a darker red on the lid. I just wanted this to be kind of blown out and grungy. Next thing I'm going to do is just take this red shade at the top and just pack this onto my lid. I'm going to take a little bit of that on a fluffier brush now and just blend that into the first pink shade that we put down. And then on the lower lash line again, going in with the red but keeping it tighter to the lash line this time. Now I'm going to take the shade Sassy, which is this white here, from the Balm Nude Tube palette. And this is my 
favourite in a corner highlight. It's so bright. I love it so much. We're going to do liner now and I'm going to take the Rimmel Glam Eyes um, eyeliner. I'm just going to put my lashes on now. Um, the ones that I use are the Isla Forever Enchanted, I think they're called. So I'm just going to pop those on. Ooh, ooh. Next, I'm just going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and just run this in the waterline. Now, because that pencil is quite fat, you can see it's gotten on my eyelashes a bit. So I'm just going to go in with my eyebrow powder and just stamp the dark brown onto my lashes just to cover up that white. So it looks a lot cleaner. Okay, so that is the eyes all done now. Uh, in case you were wondering, my top says empowered women, empower women. Because they do. Now, I'm going to be taking a white eyeliner and just sketching out where I want to put my the, uh, the zigzags. And I'm just going to sketch that out before I go in with any eyeshadows or anything. And I always say to use a reference picture because it'll make things a lot easier. So what I'm just doing for this is I actually looked at tattoos, I was kind of inspired by tattoos for this and I'm just gonna reference these and just put them across here because that's what, that's what I wanna do! I know it looks like you can't really see it but the reason I went in with a white pencil is so that it wouldn't show through at the end so if I went in with a black or a dark pencil it would have shown through and also it doesn't really matter if you can't really see at this point because we are just going to use it as a guide to put the pink eyeshadow on and then once that's done we're going to go over it again anyway so it doesn't really have to be perfect. So again just going with the neon pink that I used at the start. I'm just going to put this around the line and buff it out so it's more concentrated nearer to the line that I sketched out. This is gonna give it that like neon effect of the uh, the line is really light enough. I'm then gonna go in with the red shade and a smaller fluffy brush and just put this closer to the line just so it's even more dark. This way, when I put the white paint on top, uh, it's gonna really stand out, because if I put it on top of a pink that's not really that dark, it's just not gonna stand out as much as if I were to put a red down. And then I'm just going to go in with that pink once more, just to buff everything out so that there's no harsh lines and everything blends seamlessly. So now what I'm going to do is go in with a white cream paint. You know if you've watched my other videos that I do usually rely on face paint, but for this look we are going to use cream paint just because it blends out, whereas face paint sets and we're not going to be able to blend it out. With this you can put it on and carry on blending out. I'm just going to do a first layer of that. Okay, so now I am actually going to go in with a white face paint just because it's more intense and we're going to get that really bright, stark white from this. And I'm just going to put that in the centre of each line. And I'm just going to go in with my finger and pat that in just so it blends and then we are going to go in with another layer. 
Okay, so I'm not really liking the way that this looks like here. Like, no one's happy. It's like that. And I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with a baby wipe and wipe that off. Uh, do the same steps with the pink, the red, and then the white. And just fix that because I'm not really liking the way it's looking. Okay, so I did that and I also added another heart by here because I didn't like that there was just one on the end. Because um, I did want it to be more of like a Valentine's Day look. And so now what I'm doing is just going back in with that pink and uh, making everything a bit more vibrant. Always remember just to keep going in with a fluffy brush and blending everything out. Okay, so now I'm just going with another layer of white face paint. I know it seems like we're going back and forth a lot, but I think it's important that we do do this, otherwise it's not going to be blended well enough and it's not going to be bright enough that you want it to be. So now all this left to do is my lips. So I'm just gonna use a liner and literally some Carmex. We still got few more days to slay. It's gonna get so much louder. Now we're here. Now I need to do my hair and I will be right back. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look and I also did my hair on Instagram if you do wanna see that, I will link it down below. I hope you enjoyed this makeup look. And let me know what you want to see in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you very soon. Next I'm just gonna take my min next I'm gonna just 